Right, so I bought this snorkel to go on the trial now. I bought a plastic one um, with a ram head. I'll go over that later, but um, plan is today, it's about four o'clock, uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. Plan is to drill the hole and get it on there. Probably not plumb it up fully, but get it on there enough so we can plumb it up during the week because about three, four days till I go away doing last minute trip things, still got to put spotlights on um, and a few other things that I'll need to do for this soul girl. So yeah, we're going to put that and all those other pieces on here. Let's get to it. Right, so in this bag I got with the um, snorkel, has some of the fittings in that the, the, um, thing anyway. All snorkels will come with one of these unless you bought a dodgy one. Anyway, so this is your template for your vehicle. It's quite a long one actually. I haven't looked at this yet. Basically... Okay, so I've got to cut it out yet. Basically, you put this on your vehicle, line it up nice, and then where it's got these pinpoints here, that's where you're meant to um, drill and cut holes for your snorkel to fit. So, I'm gonna cut this out here, as it says. And then, we can mark out where we want to cut our holes. So, we'll get to that. Right, so I've cut the template out, um, matched it with the snorkel, just in case it was the wrong template somehow. Um, so it's the right template. Now we've fitted it up with the instructions here, and there are instructions here as well to tell you what to do. Now here we can see where we're going to cut with our little um, holes and our fit our snorkel in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a punch and punch there. Well, I'm going to get a texture and mark these holes out um, in the middle or something sharp like the end of a drill bit and same on this one and then for this one here which is where the actual snorkel body goes through I'm gonna take this out and draw around there so I know where to cut because it's obviously not a round hole and yes yeah, so that's what we're gonna do and then we can start drilling and cutting which is a bit scary and int intimidating but it should be good Alright, so I got a pen. I didn't have a small enough drill bit, so, well, I couldn't find one. So I've got a pen. I'm going to mark it right in the middle of these holes where it's supposed to go. And it should, if you give it a little rub, go through cardboard and onto the body of the car. Right, so I've gone around with my pen and marked all those. So, stick this up from the bottom. Oh, rip it a little bit. We lift it up from the bottom, have a peek, without pulling all the way off. You can see where it's just gone through, so you know, like a red pen or so, a texture or something just to make those a little bit bigger. Alright, so as you can see, mark where all those holes go. There's some up there and everything, but you can see that easily with the texture now. So now that we can see where it is and the little dots are, we're actually going to get a punch. Um, so I'll show you what the punch looks like. So you want to get your punch, now this is what a punch looks like, it's for um, putting dents in metal so you can pre-drill it easily. So we're going to get this and a hammer, now if you don't have one of these, you can use a nail with a fine tip like that, Oops. don't leave that on your driveway, and we're just going to punch our little holes that we marked out so we can drill it easily. Now that I've punched that hole there, I'm actually going to take this middle bit out, if I can, 
at ripping it. With my pen, I'm actually going to trace around this circle here as best I can. And there we have it. We have the outline of our little snorkel thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off now because we don't really need this now that our holes are marked. And we're going to drill those holes out. I'm going to start with probably a smaller drill bit as a pilot hole and then we can go the full 8.5 mil hole as it described on this template here so just got to get my drill bits from my other car and we can start drilling right i got a three mil drill bit and gonna drill into the side of my car let's do it Right, so I just checked with the little stud that they give you for the snorkel and it fits through an 8mm hole so you don't really need to drill an 8.5mm unless we need to. And they're not burred that much so it should be right. Now all we've got to do is cut this out, which these I can repair with Bob sanding and paint, but that is a different story. So once we cut that out, way harder to fix. So, hmm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some masking tape here so it doesn't chip when I'm drilling and cutting it. Right, so I've put masking tape on top of where it's actually meant to be cut and I've drawn a circle with permanent texture on top of the marking, marking tape so I know where to cut. Now, I've got this hole saw here. It's not 89 mils, it's 76 mils, so it's a bit shorter than what it's meant to be. But that's okay because we're going to go around with a different gun, well not a gun, Gonna go around with a little um, reciprocating saw thing to cut it, um, and I don't want to cut the hole as big as it's meant to, uh, as big as it says, because as we saw with the um, little stud holes there, they're actually smaller than what they are, and the studs still fit through. So we'll see. We'll cut this out with a hole saw, and then we'll go around and cut it smaller than what it's meant to be, and see if the snorkel fits. So let's go cutting into the car again. This bit's scarier because you can't really fix this bit once you do it. Oh, well, we should be right. Now let's start chewing up the car. Oh! Yikes! I think we've got a hole in the car. No turning back now. That's sharp. Anyway, so what I've got here, I've got two tools. I've got this burring tool, which we'll use later, maybe. Um, and I've got this little reciprocating tool. Now, it's got a broken blade on it, but it should have enough to cut around this. Uh, basically reciprocates with the use of air, and we can cut this hole out.
Righto, so most of the meat is cut out of the actual um, hole. So I'm going to go around with the die grinder and grind it off close to the line. Um, Righto, so as you can see, I've gone around with the die grinder and die grinded it back to where it should be. Now it's a little bit um, from the line, so it's not on the line, so it's inside. Now, as you probably saw in the time lapse, I fitted that and I went through here so it fits. It's nice and snug in there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is with the little bag of um, bits and pieces you get here, you got four studs and one bolt. I'm guessing the one bolt goes in the middle so when you're putting it in it doesn't flop around on you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these studs in the holes. Um, going to put two here and two there and then line it up again on the vehicle and see if it fits. Right. I can tell you now, half the bolt holes don't line up. Right, so happened to me before because it's not a safari so it's not top of the line it was pretty cheap it was like 100 bucks top bottom line not top line not middle line but pretty low so you can see the bolt was rubbing there oh that one was in and those two are way out but i can bend those two a little bit they're gonna have to drill those holes bigger Okay, so I managed to get the snorkel on, well it's not bolted on yet, so there's four studs in and it took a little bit of grinding to get the holes to come down, a little bit in that, I just did it with the die grinder, um, but the stud here was like two centimetres off and I'm not grinding a hole elongated like that, so I decided I'm not going to put that stud in. It has one up here, it should be fine. And then I've got the bolt here, here, and here. And then the ones up here, so. I reckon that's fine there. And that, and I'm just gonna run it like that. Pretty sure there's plenty of other snorkels out there running without some of the studs in there, so it should be fine. Now, what I'm gonna do next is up here you get a little bracket it's in that bag over there i'll get it out but you've got two bolts well studs that go through here and then it bolts onto your window sill right there so you've got to drill holes in your window sill there as well some more holes to drill okay so i've just spread out my little bits and pieces here and um this is the bracket that comes in the kit. Um, this attaches your snorkel to the top part of your vehicle near the window. So you get your bracket here and it's bent a little bit here. Um, that's so it keeps it, pushes it off the body of the vehicle. So you want to lay it down so the it's bending downwards basically. And you get your little bolts. Now I actually have extra bolts in my kit. I don't know why. Someone's probably missing theirs in their kit they bought. Anyway, you screw them in here. Um, it's not white, by the way. It's got a little cover on it, so you peel it back. But we'll do that later. So you basically screw it in here, just roughly. Make sure it's nice and square, by the way. Screw it in like that, and then we'll put this on the car and I'll show you how to do the next bit. 
Right, so you put your snorkel on the vehicle like so, and mine's a little bit bent because of the bolt holes, but that's all right. I'll just get the heat gun on it and push it up. So, you got your little bracket here, so it's pushing out from the vehicle. Now, I'll see if I can do this. I don't think I can do this one here. Yeah, I'll, I'll rest the GoPro there. So, basically, you want to have this where it's going to be sitting on the vehicle. Mine's going to sit about there. And you get your little texter. And I'll just make sure I do this correctly. And you dot it where the holes are. Now, you're going to take your, your snorkel off and basically do the same thing that we did to those holes. So we're going to punch them in, drill them to the correct size. And instead of putting studs in on this, we're actually going to pot rivet it to the car. Right, so we're going to get our pot rivet and our little thing, make sure it's going the right way. And for this you'll need a pot rivet again, by the way. Get the poke in our first one up top here. Let's get our second one. Righto. I'm going to put the bottom one in. The middle one. Yep. Press them in. And sweet, that's what it looks like. Now I'm pretty sure I did that right. Um, but if I did it wrong, don't do that. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, gonna put that snorkel on, but first I'm gonna go around these holes with that pen and yeah, make it look all pretty. And then we can put the snorkel on and bolt it up. It should be pretty good. Right, so the snorkel is on. Um, got that bracket sitting there, if you can see. Um, now, before we bolt that bracket on, we're going to bolt the actual snorkel onto the body. Um, so to do that, we're going to go through the wheel well here. A bit dark in here, but basically, there's a plastic cover up in here that pull off and pull it down. One handed. No, I'm going to have to do it two hands. Um, and you go through, and on those studs that are on the back of here, you've got some washers to put in, and then you can put these bolts on. Um, so there's four of them on mine, because I left one out. And then, yeah, tighten them up so they're fairly tight, but don't over-tighten them, because you'll end up ripping out the side of your fender, so... I'll do that. I can't film it because it's in underneath the guard, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Bolting in from there onto the studs, and then we can bolt that on. Righto, so it's the next day, obviously. Um, so we have the snorkel head on. It's attached to the um, A pillar of the car here. Looking pretty smick. Um, a bit dirty at the moment. But yeah, so main bit of the snorkel installed is done what we've got to do now is we've got to attach the snorkel to the air box and make sure everything's watertight right so in my kit this is what we use to get the snorkel into the air box um it's got this steel well cast plate here and then some silicon tubing now i believe i have to take the air box out to do this so i'm going to quickly whip this out Ah, don't know why this happens to me, but it does. Maybe it's because I buy cheap crap, but anyway, so it's the next night, and last night I was having issues with patrol, the um, fitting the snorkel, so we're at plums through the guard there, 
you can see it doesn't line up so that was my issue second issue was I thought the air box was a lot different to what it is um, so I thought I'd just cut out a hole and put that little cast bracket in there but that wasn't the case so the air box was actually hollow on the end and it sucked out sucked air out through that guard and between the inner guard there so after a lot of thinking a lot of complaining um this is what i've got and i hope it works i really hope it works so here's the air box well what was the air box and it was hollow at the end there was a big hole at the end there but i've got a plate um you know, I've just roughly tacked it on in a few places there um, just so it stays on now the bracket thing that came with the kit this is what's left of it I've cut it down so it actually fits inside of this air box so let me just do that one handed slot him down in there so it actually fits like that now I'm hoping this will work and stick through the guard and then I can clamp it to that little silicon bit but we'll see I guess. I really hope this works because I was, uh, I had no clue what I was going to do so I don't even know if this is going to work so I guess, I guess you'll find out if it works or not but yeah. Okay so I'm back and the snorkel is installed on the patrol finally so this is it full on the guard there on the passenger side air box is in um like i said i stuck with the original um plumbing well tubing or whatever you want to call it um for the air box anyway so what i ended up doing here was i put a silicon in there let it dry overnight um and then i've taped it up there so it's all nice and watertight up in that join it's that secondary air box um now in the future like i said i am going to replace all of this um and possibly this but that will be in the future um it'll be like steel tubing in here but anyway so back to the plumbing up when I was talking to you last, I was talking about the air box, how I welded on a little plate, siliconed it in, and then I was going to put on that um, silicone fitting they gave you. Well, it didn't actually fit, and I was mucking around for about two days trying to make it fit, but it wouldn't go on, so I was debating on whether to run the snorkel um, just for looks and avoid the water, but... I was going, I'm going to the high country, so so I really wanted something to stop the water getting to the airbox and the engine, so ended up plumbing it up. So, how did I do that? Well, after a lot of fooling around and everything, I was at work one day, and I saw this tie tube. Um, it's an old lawnmower tube, and I thought that would fit perfectly on both fittings of the snorkel and the airbox. So, what I did, you can see, I cut a piece out of it, um, and I ended up stretching that over both fittings and it worked and then I clamped it down with some hose clamps obviously so I'll show you that now so just peeling back the wheel wheel cover now um, and you can see there that is how it's stretched over and how much um, I had to stretch it to actually get it to fit because it's it's off by about uh, 20 odd mil so it was a bit of a challenge to get in there, but it's in and it's going to work and it's going to protect us from all those water crossings we're going to do in the future. So yeah, that's how it worked out there. Snorkel goes into the air box. The air box is right there and then goes into your air intake and everything up there. And it's the snorkel on the body. Nice fitment and everything, as you can see, stays close to the body. And yeah pretty tight fit I guess that's all for the snorkel install so I'm pretty happy with how it eventually turned out even though I had to muck around for ages but yeah lesson learnt don't buy 
cheap crap, I guess. Buy the good stuff, especially if you're going to be protecting your components of your engine and your car. Um, and also, if you're going to be cutting into the side of your car, you want something that you know is going to fit. Unlike this, it took a bit of brains to work out how to do it. But we're here, we got there, and it's going to work. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching the video i guess if you made it this far i doubt any of you made it this far um but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers